Well, you know, uh, palm trees are native to North America, and, and they really follow the alluvial valley between uh, the Mississippi and the Red River. And they were native to Oklahoma, you know, uh, all the way down to Louisiana, the east side of Texas, uh, over into Mississippi and a little bit Alabama. And Louisiana used to be the king of the pecan industry early on whenever it started, but uh, Georgia's taken over now. They, Georgia didn't have a pecan tree on it naturally. They, they've got nuts uh, and, and grafted and started orchards over there and now they'll produce about um, anywhere from say 60 to 120 million pounds a year where in Louisiana we're producing 10 to 15 million pounds a year. Yeah, They're, they're along all of our bayous and rivers all throughout uh, the Mississippi River and the Red River. I mean they're everywhere. If you follow this wood line here you'll see some huge big pecan trees. Well, that's just a native natural pecan tree that came up on its own. They're not that difficult to grow. They really like uh, sand, alluvial soils. You know, they're naturally in a real rich, in their natural environment. They're in that second tier off the rivers. Mm -hmm. And so they like a sandy loam soil. They do real well with that. They need a uh, warm weather from about, you know, you start in March and then we're harvesting it from October into December. There's different varieties. The, the USDA scientists, they bred varieties for colder regions. You know, they move up into Missouri and Kansas, but, but uh, predominantly and naturally, we're in the southeast part of the nation. These were grafted in the mid-90s, so they're about uh, 20 years old. Um, they'll start production, it depending on the variety, but they usually are starting to come into production about their seventh or eighth year. We have grafted trees that are over 100 years old. Uh, the issue whenever they start getting real large is our equipment's not able to maintain them. We, we have a hard time shaking them without damaging them and then we, we spray in these trees and we have a hard time spraying in the top of that tree. We try to get, our, in, the, in Louisiana the goal is to get about a thousand pounds to the acre. The native nuts are naturally smaller okay. and, and they're uh, where a good grafted variety, the, the scientists are working on about a 50% uh, nut meat to nut ratio. Where most of these natives are around 40%, but their natives are so varied in what they do, and everybody wants a uniform, you know, they want every nut to look the same, and they want a large nut. They ship them all over the nation, you know, they, they have an online uh, business, and they retail them at their farmer's markets. Mm -hmm. I believe they have three different farmer's markets, and they're in the Whole Foods now. I think they're down in New Orleans and in Lafayette with them. You know, everybody uses them during the holidays for baking on pecan pies and candied and whatever they do. I don't know if y'all that familiar with the nutritional values of the pecan, but it's really a hard, healthy nut, and it, it beats all the other nuts as far as your health goes. Oh yeah, it beats almonds. It's, it's, it's a lot more antioxidants in it, and it, it's uh, high in the good fats and low in the bad fats. And it, it's really a hard, healthy product all the way around, along with the oil. You know, it's actually healthier than olive oil for you. It's just uh, not known to the public, you know, uh, we're our own worst enemy as far as not getting the word out as, as far as a healthy product that this nut is. But it, it really should be part of a, a heart healthy diet and, and we should be using them year round.